Good afternoon and welcome to this, the third debate presented by the City Club of Cleveland in this very important fall election cycle. I'm Jim Foster, Executive Director of the Club. The City Club has a great heritage of hosting debates for public office. This issue of county government reform has been discussed in our community for a long time and it certainly appears that change is going to come. Last week we had a debate between the two proponents on the merits of issues five and six and which might be the better approach to reforming county government. Today, to the City Club of Cleveland, at the City Club of Cleveland, we turn our attention to the makeup of the Charter Commission should issue five pass. Here at the City Club, we go face to face and in person. And you, the audience and voters, will get to ask questions. Many thanks to those of you who are here and those watching and listening on IdeaStream and through our webcasts and podcasts. 60 minutes will go by very quickly, so let's proceed. We are delighted to have as our moderator for today's debate, Rick Jackson. Rick is a reporter and program host for both Idea Stream outlets, WCPN Radio on 90.3 and WVIZ PBS Television. He was a longtime news reporter and anchor for several commercial stations in Cleveland and then had a decade hiatus. He returned to Cleveland Television in 1999 after a five-year stint hosting an international news program broadcast for New York City. And he's been here ever since. Rick? Thank you, sir. Thank you, Jim. I'm glad to be back to moderate this debate between the slates of candidates who are competing to be members of the Charter Commission to reform the system of Cuyahoga County government. There are 29 names on the ballot that you'll be choosing from, and they will appear as individuals, meaning Voters will vote on each name individually. That said, these 29 people are organized for the purposes of campaigning into two slates. One is called Real Reform Done Right. The other is the Citizens Reform Charter Commission. Now, if Issue 5 is approved, the top 15 vote-getters from whichever slate will have the responsibility of drafting a charter to reform Cuyahoga County government and presenting it to the voters for passage next year. Representing Real Reform Done Right today is Ronald Johnson, an attorney with Key Bank here in Cleveland. Representing Citizens Reform Charter Commission is Thomas Kelly, a radio host. Please welcome them. It's an interesting proposition, gentlemen. It has some strong support, people including County Commissioner Peter Lawson Jones, Cleveland Mayor Frank Jackson, U.S. Congresswoman Marcia Fudge have spoken in favor. But today we're not here to argue five versus six or five versus its detractors. We're here to learn how to determine who would make up this committee should the measure be successful. It goes without saying that if issue five does not win, the determination of voters would be moot. There would be no charter commission. So to the rules of this opening portion of the debate. Each candidate has a total of eight minutes for both an opening statement and a rebuttal. It is their choice how, how they divide the time. Again, we'll hear from each person twice in this segment. Opening statements from each, then rebuttals by each, a total time of eight minutes for each. After opening and rebuttal, I will ask a couple of follow-up questions, then there are questions from the audience, and finally a qu closing question, which will be the same for Mr. Kelly and Mr. Johnson. We are very pleased to welcome the audience with us here today. I know many of you support one or the other of the slates. We appreciate your giving everyone a chance to be heard. Now, the order of presentation was determined by a drawing a few minutes ago. Mr. Johnson will present first. Sir? Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first, I'd like to, uh, to thank the City Club for sponsoring this program. Uh, despite the media attention of late, um, issues five and six continue to be um, a uh, confusing issue for many people. Um, and I'm actually glad to know that we're not really here to debate the merits of issue five and issue six, although I'm pretty sure some of that will come up today. And that really, this is an opportunity for the voters to understand who the candidates are. Um, it's a, there's a daunting task. We're asking voters to do uh, a, a, a major significant thing in identifying 15 people that are going to represent this process, most of whom have no name recognition whatsoever. Um, and so uh, this, this, you know, I appreciate the opportunity to kind of uh, talk to you about the real reform slate. Now what I'd like to do is um, talk, talk about our slate. Um, we are a diverse slate of, of candidates, the real reform done right uh, slate. We have 14 members that are running for a seat on the Charter Commission. Um, we're made up of five women, nine men. We have six West Siders. We have eight East Siders. 
We have business owners. We have attorneys. We have folks who represent labor. Um, we have uh, representation from uh, the African American community, from the majority community, from the Hispanic Latino community, from the LGBT community. Uh, we feel that our slate, being diverse, uh, represents, to the extent possible, a good snapshot of what Cuyahoga County looks like. Um, so that we have diversity of perspective and diversity of thought included in our slate. Our collective backgrounds include economic development, financial accounting, audit, business management, nonprofit management, ethics, government administration, medical operations, education, the arts, and people who advocate for civil rights, worker rights, our children, our seniors, and our family. And so when we look at who these candidates are um, and the type of perspective they can bring to the process, we believe that our slate is, is heavy with those good perspectives that can operate in a facilitated process to uh, gain public support in, open, uh, in an open and transparent process and bring these perspectives to bear so that we can develop a charter that makes sense for the county. Um, for specific information on who the candidates are, uh, we do have a website. That website is www.yes5no6.com. Again, www.yes5no6.com. There you will get the bios of the various candidates, and you will see their faces, and uh, hopefully you can uh, uh, become more familiar, familiar with, with who we are. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Mr. Kelly. Well, thank you. I want to thank the City Club and Jim Foster for this opportunity. It's an honor to appear at the City Club. I want to thank Ron Johnson and all the opposition candidates. I want to thank all our citizens reform candidates. And I want to start off by saying I have to protest, protest this debate as unfair. I always wanted to do that at a city club debate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not unfair because uh, Ron Johnson uh, is one of their finest candidates. He is a respected attorney and an accomplished vice president at KeyBank. He is active in the community. He's on the board of nonprofit organizations that serve the needy and help senior citizens and disabled residents. Here, I'm speaking up for you now. Thank you. Uh, unless I'm mistaken, he is a Republican. I is am, that right? I am a Republican. The only candidate on their slate that can claim arm's length distance from the party that virtually controls county government. He is a good man with a fine reputation. Uh, but they have 14 candidates, and they can't all be as good as Ron Johnson. And how come I couldn't get a debate with their worst candidate? Where is he? Is he here? Let me see. <laughs> That's me. I, I know who that is. No, I don't, think, I don't see him here. Oh, well. Hey, it's not unfair to me or our citizens reform candidates. I think it's unfair to, the, to Mr. Johnson and his slate of candidates. I think they come into this debate at an enormous disadvantage. If this were a horse race, it would be a handicap race. And all their candidates would carry extra weight. And it's not because of who they are. They are good, honorable, qualified citizens. It's because of the origin of their slate, of their candidacies, and of issue five itself. There are various accounts of the process and how long it took, how inclusive it was. And some say it took many months or years with more than 100 people involved. And you can really go back to the previous commissions about county government in the 90s and 10 years, 15 years or more. According to the League of Women Voters, the first serious efforts to reform county government began 92 years ago. With more than a dozen attempts since then, involving thousands of people over several generations. None were successful. No progress at all, not a step in the right direction. And finally, this year, it happened. A group of civic business and community leaders came together for reform. They worked hard, they set aside their differences, 